Hey YouTube, it's Brother Brooks. Wanted to present another Bible study or a short Bible study if I can make it short. Um, something that the Holy Spirit revealed, revealed to me that I just have to let you know uh, because it's not for me to give it to. It's not given to me to keep it for myself. Uh, but before I do, let me start this off in prayer. <clears throat> Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day you have given me. I thank you so much for giving me more uh, through which is your Son. And the fact that I'm able to have redemption and the sacrifice that he made on the cross where I can come to you boldly and ask you to forgive me for all my sins and that everything will be washed away and I'll be made new, whiter than snow. And I pray, Father, that what you have showed me through the Holy Spirit will be able to help believers and unbelievers alike take Satan seriously. I pray that they may be able to see may be able to see his determination to rule this world by any means necessary and how much he brags about it right in the broadest uh, sense of the word of, uh, of just showing how he's really the ruler of this planet and I hope Father that as you reveal to me through the Holy Spirit his tactics and his de his devices and his, uh, his his order and all that he seeks to do to connect the world under his one banner of hate and evil and control. I pray, Father, that they may be able to know a true power greater than him, which is Jesus Christ, uh, your son, Father, who you said that if we believe in him, we can have power to be able to trample over serpents and scorpions. And so much that if we believe in Christ, that greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world, that is Satan. So I hope, Father, that through this Bible study, that quickly they'll be able to see the realization of how determined Satan is in control in this planet. And I hope the obviousness of it moves them closer to you in that reality. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so what I want to do, this has been buried in my heart for quite a long time. And I've kind of dealt with it and worked on it and pushed it to the wayside until recently, a couple days ago, when... A friend of mine sent me a link to elaborate on this um, anomaly that I'm about to show you. And I went back to it and finally gave it some attention. And the Holy Spirit was like, boom, this is what I want you to see. And when I saw it, I was like blown away by it. But it made perfect sense, perfect sense after the Lord revealed it to me. So now I'm just putting it all together in this short Bible study video. Uh, to show you what we're going to do is I want you to take notice to what, what I've been able to catalog of all the anomalies across the world dealing with metholith metholithic stones or great, great giant stones and pyramids across the world and anomalies so what we're going to do first is I took a snapshot of the Google map all of Google map right and zoomed out on it as far as you can go and you can do this too and I took every part, every part of the world where there is a pyramid or there's some reference to some anomaly of some great structure that no one can really explain. I took it upon myself to put pins there, put dots there indicating where it is. So I would zoom in, okay, I would zoom in on that site, put a dot there and zoom all the way out so where you, to what you see right now. So what you see right now is an indication of where, where each of these pins are indicated by these red A's here these little red A's and stuff like that each of these dots uh, are indication of where there's a metholithic stone or some anomaly uh, uh, some structure that can't really be explained that's ancient that they know alright so it's not just I just tagged anything anywhere I just wanted to know I found, the, I found the site I zoomed in on it from Google Earth put a pin there zoomed out and this is what you have across the world so we're just going to go through uh, uh, through what I've been able to catalog and show you why they are there first let's look at our country the United States in Washington DC we have the monument but we call it the monument but where it derives from is actually the Egyptian obelisk the obelisk comes from Egyptian deity stories or their gods where their god Osiris was murdered and chopped up and thrown into the uh, the Nile River. His wife Isis got his 
body parts. Piece only found 13 of them, pieced them together, and made this structure right here. So this obelisk is in honor of their god, the Egyptian god, Osiris, from the pieces of the pieces of body fragments that his wife Isis found, and the Washington Monument comes from that. And there's nothing in there's nothing Egyptian in America. No Egyptians ever found America. No Egyptians contributed anything to America. So you can't just simply brush away, oh, we just decided to erect a giant-sized monument in the nation's capital. No, it's in honor of a deity. It's in honor of an Egyptian god. It comes from uh, Egyptian myth, and I mean, Egyptian uh, uh, gods, uh, the pantheons of all the gods of Osiris and Ra and all that. That's where it comes from. Because we can all agree, no Egyptian contributed to anything to American society. Uh, but you can see that we somehow, some way, an Egyptian um, obelisk was erected in the nation's capital. Then we have um, also in North America, in Ohio, this strange mound here. And this strange mound is actually the depiction of a snake with its tail curled. And it's called the Stink Mound in Ohio. Okay? No one can understand why it's here or what it's there for, but we can see that there's a snake here in the and you only can see from the sky you have to be air in an aerial uh, vantage point to be able to see this as what you're seeing right now and a little bit all across the place as well are a series of mounds where they believe to be tombs under the mounds look like one giant hill of by the naked eye but it's actually a, a burial site then you go further south and what you have in Mexico is the pyramid of the sun and the pyramid of the moon uh, these are pyramid structures that you see, and again, if you, uh, when they were discovered, it was just a bunch of dirt on this giant sized hill until they discovered it was actually pyramid structures under them. It's actually a compound. Um, this one here, this pyramid of the sun, is uh, in the same photo here as it is this one is the pyramid of the moon, where this is being taken from. Then you also have here in Mexico as well another pyramid site. Uh, this is called the Pyramid of Cholula. Uh, this pyramid structure is still somewhat covered up. They haven't excavated this too much, but nonetheless, the uh, scientists do know that it looks some similar to this right here. But right as of now, there is a palace built on the very top of that. So they haven't excavated everything to discover what's there. But as you can see, the steps here are very similar to the steps that we just finished watching. Then you have uh, going east, you have in Cuba, underwater pyramids. They found a temples or a series of temples or pyramids 150 feet in height. Uh, or in other words, um, I don't know, I think, uh, I'll let you, you research it if you want. Um, I can't remember the height of it, but it's, not, it's extremely tall. And they found a series of them, and this is a close-up picture when they sent one of those submarines with cameras uh, under there, you can see that it, it is a pyram pyramid. It is a geometric shape, a geometric shape to what was found underwater in Cuba, along with other temples that you see surrounding it. Then you have going further south, you have off the uh, off the west coast of Chile, you have Easter Island. Strangely, the island looks like a pyramid itself, an equilateral triangle, and it has a series of erect stones of faces. All the faces look the same, and it's an enormously tall stone uh, that you can see with these individuals here to give you a size for reference um, with regards to the statue. And they're just littered all across the island. All across the island are these stones. All across the island. It borders the island and there are some even found underwater uh, as well uh, at, at the same time so you got these metallic stones of these faces with all the same face in each of these uh, all across the island then you have um, and that was oh, I'm sorry but that was that was called Easter Island and you can research all this if you want these are the actual names of these anomalies and these structures so definitely look it up you don't have to take my word for it. Then you have this was I just discovered recently. But if you ever go to Google Maps, if you, I'll, send, I'll post up the link 
to the coordinates, but right off the coast of West Africa, uh, there seems to be some possible ruined city that when you zoom in on that area, you see this floor plan here. What looks eerily similar to what you would see if you excavated a old ancient city or village of some sort. You see depart compartments, compartments, followed by squares and rectangles, as you see here. Squares and rectangles, squares and rectangles, compartments, compartments. And it's kind of ironic <coughs> to see that underwater. Well, actually, it isn't because we all know of the story of the flood. <coughs> then let's see where else are we going. Oh, let's go to Chile. In Chile, which you'll find in the desert, our series of Nazca lines. Did I say Chile, I mean Peru. And this is in Peru. <coughs> in Peru, what you see is, um, and you can only find this in the air. You have to be in the air to be able to see these things. This is nothing you would walk past and, and be able to notice you're standing in the middle of a bird. You have to see this from the air. And uh, what's also interesting about this is some of the uh, lines, it looks like uh, airplane, airplane runways. <coughs> it looks like airplane runways. And if some of these uh, runways are on top of mountains where it looked like someone just took a knife and cut the whole mountain off. It's quite interesting, actually. But... The mountain, most mountains have peaks at the top of them, but some of these mountains where you see these carved lines and some that look like runways, they're chopped off. I mean, just it's, it's, it goes up and then it's flat, as if someone just leveled it. But again, this is just what you see in Peru. Then off the coast of West Africa, again, you see these monuments. This monument is on the side of a mountain estimated to be 150, feet, 150 meters, which is... 500 feet from top to waist. Uh, this is a close-up of the head of that mountain, and this is now in Guinea, Guinea, uh, West Africa. Then you also will can go to the United Kingdom, where you will find Stonehenge. Everyone knows about Stonehenge. This is has uh, astrological significance. Um, they say during the winter solstice uh, that the druids or people <coughs> in witchcraft or pagan religions will pay homage to this site because they deem it to be spiritual and, and during the <coughs> winter solstice or the summer solstice that the sun would come in a certain angle and which makes this place whole, holy and let's see then you have this area here in Bosnia you'll see pyramid structures uh, overlooking this town in Bosnia. There's actually three of them. It's quite coincident coincidentally, they're called Pyramid of the Sun, the Moon, and the Dragon. But this mountain here is not a mountain. It's actually a pyramid. And as they're excavating it, you can see the steps here. And as a, they're still excavating it as we speak right now. They haven't really done a lot to it because it's new. It's a new discovery. But this is in Bosnia. Now yeah, let's see where else we're going. Oh, let's go to Turkey. And in Turkey, you see a pyramid structure with these statues of giant heads. It seemed like these statues were of giants um, in Turkey, mind you. Not Greece, but Turkey. So you have these human-like giants in Turkey. with And on these giants were heads of human beings, it seemed like. Human-like human uh, heads with animal heads. So these statues that you see here had the heads of humans or animals and what's out, I'm going to go to a totally different Bible study about this, but each of their heads has cones. This is, a, they have a cone head here, cone head here, cone head here, cone, cone, cone head. So they had cone heads and they were giants and they were seen to be worshipped as gods with the pyramid behind them. I'm going to go into another Bible study about that later on, but I just want you to pay attention to that if you already have an understanding of what I'm talking about. And this is called Mount Nimrut in Turkey. Then let's go to Iraq. This was discovered during the coalition, uh, coalition forces in the first in the Iraq, second Iraq war, where they seem to have discovered the Tower of Babel. 
Tower of Babel was depicted as a commissioned uh, building uh, structure for Nimrod, the first king of the world, uh, and he was Noah's great grandson. And this is the structure from an aerial photo as well. Of course, the Tower of Babel didn't get completed, and at the time it was called Babylon, which is present day Iraq. And let's go to Egypt. And this is also popular. Uh, everyone knows about the uh, pyramids in Giza, and along with, with the Sphinx. And what you may find remarkable is that people think that these <coughs> pyramids here, though they are in Egypt, were built by Egyptians. They were not built by the Egyptians. I'm going to go to a separate Bible study about that later on. But inside of these uh, pyramids is no Egyptian hieroglyphics, which it's obvious with the Egyptians, ancient Egyptians, that they're known for their hieroglyphics or their writing on their wall. But inside of these tombs, there is none, none whatsoever. And there's a whole host of information to go over about that, but like I said, I'm not trying to sway off topic. Then we have here off the coast of India, uh, Dwarka Port, India. They found underground, underwater temples, underwater temples off the coast. Uh, it's all underwater in Dwarka Port. And where there is temples, there is worship. And uh, these temples were buried underwater. And then you have in China, which the Chinese government will not allow, or very few have been allowed to go to the sites to excavate it and understand it, pyramids in China. Can you believe that? <coughs> <coughs> Still sick. <coughs> Sorry, guys. All right, let's see what else we have here. Okay, off the coast of China, you have pyramid structures found underwater. And interesting enough, with this particular structure found underwater, it's actually up close and personal. It's a face. It's a face. Another stone structure with divots in its eye, divots for eyes and a slit for a mouth. And this is in Yonaguni Island, Japan. Yonaguni Island in Japan. Then you have here in Cambodia. Not Cambodia, Indonesia. Not more pyramids found there. And this temple is called the Temple of Angkor in Cambodia. I thought that was Indonesia, but it's actually in Cambodia. Now, this is what's interesting enough I want you to pay attention to, guys. Check this out. In the Bible it says in Job 1 verse 7, And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth and from and walk and from and walking back and forth on it. So Satan replies to the Lord when God asks him, Where do you come from? And this is such an such an amazing scripture. Satan says, From walk from going to and from fro on the earth and from walking back and forth on it. So here's my question. He's not just sightseeing. So Satan is up to something. He has an agenda. So he's walking back and forth on the earth. Well, what is he doing? Well, he's doing everything we're seeing right here. Everything we just showed you, just I just showed you right now, is all of him walking back and forth on the earth. He was, it's literal. He was walking back up, back and forth on the earth. And he's very busy, as you can see, erecting these structures, these pyramid structures. And you can go to my Bible study about Lucifer to understand why the pyramid is so important to him. But to put it in layman's terms right now, it was a, it's to artificially create what God put him on, which was the mountain of God. In heaven, when he was God's cherished angel, God put him on a mountain, but then he was banished from that mountain. So now in Banished to Earth, he built artificial mountains. Because Satan can't build mountains. He's not God, but he can build a pyramid. He's the closest thing to it. And he's been doing this all across the world, along with all his other angels getting reverence, for erecting their, uh, erecting their statues as well, and their stone idols and gods and stuff like that. But this is the most amazing thing I want you to pay attention to, friends. The most amazing thing I want you to pay attention to is this. Look what happens, because I... <coughs> I discarded this project for a while, and then my friend 
told me a story that came out in the, in the news, and I brought, went back to it, and it just blew my mind. Look what happens if you really want to understand what Satan is doing, walking back and forth on the earth. This is what he's doing. He's putting his mark on the planet. This is his seal. This was a part of one half of a seal that God gave Lucifer. You go back to my Bible study about the seal of perfection that God gave Lucifer. God gave him a symbol. and It is actually in two parts. One symbol reflected God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, which was one symbol. The second symbol that God gave him was the symbol of a pentagram. <coughs> The pentagram, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my goodness. <clears throat> the pentagram reflects order, domain, control. Um, when it's signified around God, it's a good thing. God having order, <clears throat> God has a domain, and God ushers in control. For example, when God says, "Honor thy mother and thy father, so that days may be young, so that days may be long," God is ordaining your parents to have control. In order, have control over you so there can be order, no chaos. But when it's in the hand of Satan, it's all evil, it's all for selfishness, it's all for his own purpose. So when Satan puts, Satan does all this that you see here, and he wrecks all these, you know, pyramids all across the world, only to stamp his symbol on the planet as he is in control. This is his determination, a symbol of what he means what he wants to do, what his agenda is, <clears throat> and it's just simply to control the world. In so much, he puts his own symbol on the planet, displayed by series of pyramids that's across the planet when you connect them. Now, I'm not going to simply entertain this too much and boast, it, boost his ego by finding more and finding more. Finding one is good enough for me because I already... I, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. And the Holy Spirit revealed that to me because I've been looking at this for so long put it to the side my friend brings it up to me as if the Holy Spirit wanted me to get back on this and literally when I said looked at it and I said you know I'm probably think that there's a pentagram in here boom it just came out of me like that that's how that's how quick that's exactly how it went down and that's how I saw it now I'm gonna validate this for you because you I don't want you to think that I'm just making this up to connect the dots be like see look Satan's on my mind I'm, I'm I got Satan on my brain I got exposed and everything look at the, my, my remote control got Satan no 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 far from it I'm not you know drunk with Lucifer being on my mind but the Holy Spirit does reveal God is light and his light exposes the works of darkness and I'm supposed to tell you about it that's what the scripture says to do. Expose the works of darkness, right? Lucifer is the work of darkness, and I'm just simply exposing it. But watch this, friends. This was in the Huffington Post um, just the other day. My friend brought this to my attention. Here we go. <clears throat> you go to Huffington Post, okay? And if you go to the Huffington Post and you type Sudan Pyramid, a couple days ago, what you will find is a new excavated site where we'll wait for it to load okay what you will find here <clears throat> excavated site pyramid <clears throat> Sudan pyramid discovered spotlights ancient graves artifact and this is so on February 6th they found this new site where pyramids were being unearthed right there there's area of photos showing a series of pyramids and graves. Scroll all the way down. Keep going. There's more. Here's some close-up shots. Uh, let me join you in for this. It says here, among the discoveries are pyramids with a circle built inside of them. Cross braces connecting the circle to the corners. Other pyramid outside of the Sedigini, Sedigina. Oh, I just destroyed that name, didn't I? Only one pyramid is known to have been built in this way. Sadin Sadi Ingda. Oh, I'm not gonna try that again. See guys, I'm not perfect. <laughs> uh, but anyway, as you can see, these uh, pyramid structures are found in Sudan. Now what I want to point out, the reason why I pointed that out to you is this, because if you look at this 
again and take notice as to <clears throat> this symbol here comes from a satanic witchcraft pentagram look where the Sudan pyramids were discovered right on this line right on this line so we see that the pentagram comes from a symbol that derives from Satan and we see that the very the, the very pyramids that was just discovered on Feb on 6 February is right here where the yellow arrow is and the fact that it lays on the line that when you connect the dots between the pyramid in China to the Chir pyramid in Chile to the one in Peru it falls right on that line as well as the other ones we got ones in Mexico to the ones in Egypt to Turkey to <clears throat> no not Turkey Iraq Babylon China right off the coast of India um, the one in Cambodia the, I mean they're on the line that it's not just I'm connecting dots here to make a pentagram but the fact that there are pyramid structures on the very lines let's move the arrow again the pyramids are on the very line so Satan knows what he's doing here. This is not just some simply accidental thing where you put a pentagram on connecting the dots and boom, there you get it. No. Even on the very lines, there are, pent there are anomalies of, of ancient sites where there's sacred to satanic cults and, and uh, pagan uh, rituals. And again, you, you see it, Easter Island, you got Peru, the Nazca Lines, you have the one that was discovered 6 February, you have the one in China. And then you got the one in Babylon, the Tower of Babel. You got Egyptian Giza. You have uh, the ones in Cuba, the one in Mexico, the other one in Mexico. That connects to the one in Africa, to the one in Cambodia, all the way to the largest pyramid. The one found in Bosnia is the largest pyramid in the world. The one I was recently discovered. So I just want you to see how serious Satan is in, dis in controlling this planet and how defiant he is in controlling it. it is he is not kidding, guys. He wants to rule the world, and he's going to rule the world in so much that he does it with a system, a system that bears his mark. So what I want you to understand is this is what was done in the past. And the scripture says, nothing new is under the sun. In fact, what was done before is going to happen again. So if he develops a system by creating things all across the world, which bridges them together through him, what do you think he's going to do in this in this age, in this time? He's going to develop a new system that will bridge the world together with his mark. That's the whole point. Now I'm showing you, through, as the Holy Spirit showed me, what he did in the past so that we have an understanding and be aware and mindful and have our eyes open through the Holy Spirit as what he's doing today in the present. So I hope that you guys really got something from this. It was so amazing to me. I'm sorry if I may cough a little bit. I feel a lot better. I got some water and got my throat clear, but uh, I hope that you were able to learn from this. I pray that you have your mind open and I pray that you take Satan seriously now. Like he has an agenda, guys. If this is what his agenda was by going across the world and talking to people, to having them build these monuments just to exalt him, God, and bear his mark on the world, what do you think he's doing now? through the other influential industries of the world and other influential people of the world. <clears throat> so I hope that you're moved by this as the Holy Spirit moved me. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Leave me a comment. Uh, leave me a message. Uh, if you want me to pray for you, I'll pray for you. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe. Share with your family and friends and more importantly, pray. Come to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And the Holy Spirit will reveal to you as much as He wants you to know as He has revealed it to me through the Word of God. And together we can we can come to know Christ, serve the Lord, and have the fruits of the Spirit. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.